when did you get here? Uh, we got here Friday afternoon. Oh, so you've been able to really... Yeah, I, I did the floor yesterday, and um, I've been out on the street, and I'm um, um, I'm kind of, um, yeah, overwhelmed is the word. It's, uh, it's pretty interesting stuff. Yeah. How did you like the crowd at the, for the panel? You know, I'm used to Supernatural fans being really enthusiastic, but <laughs> never, what does that room hold, 6,500 people? Yeah. I, I mean, you know, I've, I've never seen that many of them all in one place. <laughs> kind of going a lot nuts. of them were probably camping overnight. Yeah. Apparently, I heard, yeah. So, you know, it's it's pretty overwhelming. Although, you know, we get so much mail. Um, if you go to our offices in Vancouver, the walls are just littered with postcards that people send. You know, the, the fans are so amazing all over the world. Um, and I've, you know, I've been at this a long time. I've never experienced anything like this. So, so even, you know, an old dog can learn a new trick. So is there something uh, coming up this season that you want to tell fans about? Or a certain episode that you're like, wait till you get to this episode, he will blow your mind. Well, we hope that every episode does that. Right, yes. but, um, I, I think this, this year's um, first three episodes of setting up our world uh, are all pretty special. Um, I, I think the fans are really going to dig what we're, we're doing. We, we start and put a lot of balls in the air that uh, will take us through 23 episodes with a pretty, you know, pretty lickety split. Um, so, will they be surprised? Uh, I think there's a real surprise in the, in the first episode that no one's going to see coming and there's going to be a few gasps. Um, but I'm really happy with the first three. I think they're all going to be, um, you know, and they really are pretty much mythological and set the, set the season mythology up. And then the fourth episode is when uh, Charlie comes back and they'll be happy to see her. So we're off to a good start. <laughs> Um, any other uh, returns? Um, from the past, uh, um, there's a few. Well, you know, Jim Jim Beaver's coming back. Um, Is he a fallen angel? <laughs> he, you're going to see him in a way that he hasn't been seen before. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, we have some ideas, but I don't want to spoil anything. <laughs> But listen, I mean, having said that, fans of the show know that, you know, nobody they really like or really hate is gone forever. <laughs> what storyline are you most excited to see the fans' reaction without, like, you know, super deep reveals, but that you can just wait for to see the fans' reaction? I think what happens to Jared and Jensen uh, in the first episode, I think the fans are they're going to give it a... Uh, palpable <gasps> and uh, that story plays out over uh, a good period of time uh, you know and, and develops but it's, uh, it's 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 something new for them we've never done it before I, I've never seen it done it before so it's pretty you know well after you see it let me know <laughs> I don't want to oversell but I think you guys will like it do you have any softer episodes planned this season like French you know, uh, we don't have a French mistake planned I mean I think the crazy the easiest one we're, that's in the works for us is this Dr. Dean Little uh, episode where Dean can talk to the animals. <laughs> uh, something went a little awry. <laughs> that's our first crazy one, but I'm sure there'll be some other ones down the line. With the angels falling from heaven, is that, I mean, that's a huge thing. Is that something that we're going to feel the effects from heavy, like in the first half of the season? Is that something that's going to change the universe forever? Yeah, well, it changes the world in a serious way. Um, it's a main story thread for, for the year. Um, you know, I think as Jeremy was saying, you know, it's the first time that they've cho chosen themselves over mission and the consequences of that is really what this season is about. And the Angels are, you know, a big part of that. You know, they're kind of lost down here, so there's factions that will group together and you know they're, they're trying to get back into heaven and how do you do that and so it's, it's, it's really rich stuff so yeah that's that's a big part of the season um, what can you say about Castile this year his ship <laughs> um, it's a really interesting character development for him um, he, 
has a real progression through the first half of the season of being really lost. Um, he doesn't have any money, he can't teleport, he doesn't know how to drive. Um, he says at one point to another character, wow, this having to urinate regularly is really kind of a drag. Right? <laughs> um, he has to feed himself, uh, he has to live as a human. As it goes along and he becomes more adept, uh, he kind of embraces the human life, but as the war between the angels becomes more um, heated, he has a, a real push-pull. You know, can I stay here and do this and be a worthwhile human being, or do I have to get back into the fray? And if I do, how do I do it? Does this mean we see the end of the trench coat? Does he get to wear normal clothes now? Not <laughs> Uh, well, the trench coat will always be around somewhere. <laughs> that might be the, the reason why he won't go back to being an angel. Yeah, well, between his trench coat and Crowley's bl black suit, I mean, I'm sure they probably both would say, you know, God's going to get out of this. <laughs>